Okay, so my take on the Daytona 500. The 60th Daytona 500. Okay. At first, it was pretty good. Stage racing, yeah. Rex, yeah. Kyle Busch got wrecked. Jimmy Johnson got wrecked. A couple of the favorites got hit. His last game, I'm surprised he got hit, but... Hey, it's Daytona. It's a plate race. Like Talladega. Anything can happen. Or any race. But... With like 60 to go. Single file. I don't like that crap. But... People have to talk about the finish. So, who won the Daytona 500? Well... Last lap, the Daytona 500, the 60th, um, Al Merle was leading. I wish he would have won it, but, hey, we had to get through losses and everything, but, with the high side being good on the speed weeks, and the low side being all right, the high side is pretty much whoever's going to win there. Whoever's on the high side will win that race because the high side is just the fastest line. So Almirola goes, Hamlin's on the bottom, Almirola's on the top. No, Hamlin is on the bottom. I don't know who's pushing him. Um, then Austin Dillon and then the three car. He comes up with a full head of steam with the 43 of Daryl Wallace Jr. And I'll get to that topic later. So, Almirola goes to the top and blocks the three car, which with the last lap of the GA2500, it's the biggest race of anything, the whole series, season. It's the biggest race of all. I mean, <laughs> I've wrecked someone to win the Daytona500, but the eventual winner of the Daytona500 was not the 10 car. The 43 and the three had a Full head of steam. I mean, going like 200 miles an hour on the backstretch. And Admiral is, has a little bit of a lead, maybe car length or two car lengths. I don't know how much. Or have a car length, but he was up there a little bit. So, Admiral blocks the three. Going into turn three, by the way. Um,. Almo got, got wrecked on the last lap of the Daytona 500, and the eventual winner was the three car. I love you guys to see that. Well, three legacy continues. I got this in 2014, just because I was a fan of the number. The Dale Hart. So, Austin Dillon was the 60th Daytona 500 on the 20th anniversary of the Daytona 500 that Dale Hart Sr. won. Now, the thing that pisses me off. Oh. If Dale Earnhardt, well, that was Dale. That was his driving style, bump and run. You bump someone going to the turn, or I, he did it, but that's the way that Dale raced. Uh, the thing that makes me mad is not, I don't care who won the day 500. I just wanted the 10 car to win it. But just like the other guy, he got wrecked, but... The three car won the Daytona 500. But that's not the thing that pisses me off. It's people that say, oh, the 43, oh, Daryl Wills Jr., he's black. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, after the interview, he said that he needs Adderall with his nerves. <laughs> Why bring this? First of all, who cares if he's black? As long as he can drive. That's point one. Point two, we'll actually flip flop that. Number one, if he. Finish the second the day to five or what was gonna be like, oh yeah, I finished second, yeah, da, 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 da. No, I wouldn't be like that. Hell no. I would have just exactly he handled it perfectly. And the thing that he said that oh Adderall, I need Adderall with his nerves. I <laughs> put yourself in his shoes. He finished the second the day to five hundred. Yeah, right there. Then the newspaper. This is Sunday. Actually, Saturday, because we have an early Sunday preview of the, of the newspaper. This is what... <sighs> I'll let this go for it. Petty teams, Wallace okay with attention to race. 
I mean, I don't mind. Yeah, I like him. He's a great driver, but just get off of his ass about him being, him being black. Okay. It's... I don't know. I can go back and forth about the finish, but... If Daryl Walsh Jr. would have won that 500, oh my God, that'd be so cool. Honest to God, this guy knows how to drive. He's good at Martinsville. Um, I don't know how old is he. I think he's 24. Um, he won. I mean, KNN. Yeah, he. I know he won the inaugural. Um. Napa 150, yes, Napa 150 at Columbus Speedway in 2011. Um, that was pretty cool, as I, I wasn't there at the time, but that was about seven years ago. Flash forward seven years later, he finished second in the Daytona 500. He's like, oh my, he's speechless about having finished second in the Daytona 500. <laughs> put him in your, put yourself in your shoes. Put, put yourself in his shoes. If you finish second in the Daytona 500, you would be speechless too. I mean, it's a, a sport of unpredictability. I know I go off on the races and everything. But, hey, that's the way it goes. Austin no one's Daytona 500. People go on him about him be, saying the Adderall. So if his nerves are shot up, who cares? Just let him express his emotions. I know I won't, I won't miss Dale Jr., but and I don't know. It's just that just pisses me off. Who gives a shit if he says Adderall? Just let him race his race. Let him drive his car the way he drives it. Just like if okay, going on the back stretch. Um, this isn't a Daytona 500 rant, it's just, I'm just trying to put the word into words that, well, let's talk another thing too, the commercials, oh my god, dude, I know the race is boring, but that was the most boring part of the race, commercials, 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 I know they have advertisements and sponsors and everything, just like, like that, right there, a logo is money. Numbers are money. With 20 to go, they cut the commercial. Three laps later, it was 17 to go. Then three more laps, and they went to another commercial. With NASCAR, please have side-by-side -side commercial breaks. It's... Please, it's from a fan standpoint of view, just show us the race on this one side of the screen, the other, have your commercials right there. That's all we ask for. So, Daytona 500, I was supposed to go to that race, but one thing led to another, but Daryl Walsh Jr., Finished second the Daytona 500. So who was pushing Hamlin? I think it was Logano or someone. No, it was Chris Busher. That's who it was. Um, but yeah, it, it was a good race. Other than the last tw 20 to 10 laps, that's when what that's what really happens. And that's another thing too. With Ryan Blaney leading all the laps, people are disappointed about him not winning the race. To quote the late and great Dale Earnhardt, it's not the car, the car that dominant the the car who leads the most laps does not always win the race. It's one that refuses to lose. Um, it's the truth. But congratulations to the three car winning on twenty years later, of the Daytona Five Hundred that Dale Earnhardt Senior won. Um. I know people were a lot pissed off about him, about Austin Nolan won the Coca-Cola 600 last year, but it's a sport of unpredictability. Don't know what will happen during that whole race. Austin Dillon, he won that race on fuel mileage. It's a long race, 600 miles. 
400 laps. It's, yeah, it's, so my standpoint of view of the 500, I know I'm going ping-ponging on everything, but it was a good race, a lot of wrecks. Danica's last race, she wrecked. Um, the thing that gets me is just the, at the end. So Tony Stewart said that he, in 2011, that he would wreck his mom to win the championship race. I, if it was a championship, oh my God, I'll go all out. I don't care where I finish, as long as I know that I have a good race. So, three car wins the Daytona 500, his first ever Daytona 500. Give him congratulations, not hate. Congratulations. Darrell Walsh Jr., give him congratulations too. I would just like to see each and every one of you haters out there to give congratulations. Put the past in the past. The past was yesterday. Um, William Byron. Hey, he did pretty good on his first race. Um, the expanding race. Wow. That was a fantastic race. Um, I'm glad they finished, um, fixed the over timeline thing. Um, but yeah, just give the three of Austin Dillon some congratulations. Not hate. Same as Zero Walsh Jr. Oh, he said the Adderall. Da, 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 da. He's the only thing who has drugs in I would be speechless if I finished second. It's just the thing that pisses me off. Oh, he said Adderall. Da, da, da. I wonder if he takes Adderall. Da, da, da. He, oh, he's black. Da, da, da. <laughs> Look at Daniel Suarez. He's a Mexican. He's a. Hispanic, Mexican in the race. He races. He's the, he, hey, he does pretty, really good. Um, oh, where I put it. Give me one second. There it is. So Daniel Suarez. This is from Athlon Racing. I always get it every year. So Daniel Suarez. Where is he? he is right here. <laughs> he won at Columbus Run Speedway too. Um, last year, okay, he won 2016 the championship in the Xfinity race season in 2011. 16, sorry. Um, 2017, last year. He had 36 starts, 0 wins, 1 top 5, and 12 top 10s. Darrell Walsh Jr. was a part-time truck driver last year, and he won a race at Michigan. Um, Daniel Suarez won at Michigan, so count Darrell Walsh Jr. as a top-notch driver competitor on the short tracks, because he can, the dude can race, seriously. Um, but that's my point of the Daytona 500. Who just... Put yourself in his shoes, that's all I'm saying, is put yourself in Daryl Walsh Jr.'s shoes and Austin Dillon's shoes. Congratulations to Austin Dillon with the Daytona 500, his first career in the Daytona 500, and to the 12 car, he could have won that race. I mean, it's a sport of unpredictability. Last time he won, the 12 car won was 10 years ago with Ryan Newman, the Daytona 500, 2008. Um... But, hey, it's going to be a good season, especially with Super Speedways. Who knows what's going to happen at the Talladega. Daytona, the July race, and Talladega in the fall race. But, put yourself in Darrell Walsh Jr.'s shoes. Congratulations to Austin Dillon winning the Daytona 500. Good job on Al Amarola. And Darrell Walsh Jr., let me read it. Walsh becomes an intriguing storyline as he is paired with the legendary Richard Petty in 2018. After subbing for the injured Eric Almirola for four races last season, Wallace jumps 
to full time cup competition and will be in the running for the rookie of the year. New lines with Richard Childress Racing. That's another controversy because they finished 1 2. Oh, Richard RCR 1 2. <laughs> it's racing, it's business. That's how they get their cars and everything from Childress is RCR or Petty Motorsports, whatever it is. Richard Petty Motorsports. New alliance with Richard Childress so Racing has the King's famed 43 thinking it can rise again. It will. It's, it will. Last time they, the 43 won was in 2014. The Coke Cola. In two, 2014 Coke 0400. I couldn't talk there. Um, and the, with the sport that's losing Danica Patrick, Walt spills a different type of diversity void. And the first full time African American driver since 1971 make an impact on the track bringing new fans on board in the process yes um hey he he has a couple truck wins and that's at Martinsville um he won at Michigan he doesn't have an Xfinity win does not, but that 43 Slick and Close Chevy will be just put him at the top of the list on Martinsville. He is so good there. I think he has two or three wins there. No, two. I know he won with Kyle Busch in his first race. His first, his first race 2014. Yeah, 2014 he won there. 2015, yes, he won there in 2015. So, congratulations to those two guys. Congratulations to all those drivers out there. I like to see each one of you guys try to race as a plate race for 200 laps, 60, 60, and then 80 laps in stage racing. Um, But yeah, it was a good race. I learned until the people were exploding. Oh my god, the three car. Oh my god, the 43. Oh no, he's as Adderall. No, no, no. <laughs> Just leave him the fuck alone. That's all I'm saying. And also, closing point. Hmm, what should, how should I put it? Hmm. I'm thinking, hold on. Just get off his ass about Adderall. His nerve. If I finish second to the Daytona 500 or one to the Daytona 500, my nerves would be just, I'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe I won the Daytona 500. Holy shit. It's just, just get off of those two guys. It's just a young, talented career in the making. I'll see you guys in the next video. And it's next week, 25th. They are saying that Jimmy Johnson will wait. No, they're saying Chase Elliott will win in Atlanta. So, for the preview of Atlanta, here it is. They are saying that playoff performers will be Kevin Harvick and Chase Elliott. Underdog Casey Kane runs on seven cylinders, Denny Hamlin. So, there you go. That's their top 10 drivers for Atlanta. Atlanta's a repaved track too. Um, oh yeah, and by the way, yesterday was the anniversary of Dale Earnhardt's death. 17 years. We miss you, man. But um, 11 years ago, Kevin Harvick won the Daytona 500 with Richard Childress. The 29 car, which was a three car when he first started racing. Yeah, that's what it says right here. Um, Hart making it just his third start in NASCAR's top series, third start after being tapped by team owner Richard Childress to replace Earnhardt. Harvick did the unthinkable, he won. That's his only win there in Atlanta, 2001. 17 years. 
has been closed. Driving a white number 29 GM Goodwrench Chevrolet that Richard Childress Racing repurposed in place of Earnhardt's iconic black number 3, Harvick held off Go Jeff Gordon by six one thousandths of a second to win in the photo finish. Hopefully we can have our photo finish this Sunday, the 25th. It's going to be on Fox. I think it's one thirty. Yeah, it's congratulations, to Austin Dillon and RCR getting their first day to help out for eleven years. I know I'm going on and on. Um, it just it's awesome. To see the three back in victory lane. I'm a fan of the number. I was mad there for a second when Amarillo got dumped, but when you're going that fast on the back stretch, it's and then he, I don't know if he bumped him or just hit him in the wrong part of the bumper, but he just went in the wall. I'm rolling. Congratulations to you, Austin Dillon, and all your on all your fans, your team. Congratulations to Rich Childress on your first day to the 500 with three car in 20 years. And congratulations to Darrell Walsh Jr. 43 Clinton Close Chevy. Um, that 43 car will win a race. I guarantee you it. Um, it'll probably be at Martinsville. That'd be awesome. Um, so congratulations to Rich, to Austin Dillon and his fans. Rich Childress, congratulations. Congratulations to Daryl Wallace Jr. on the second place in the 2500. Um, thank you guys for watching. All I can say Closing words, just, just watch, just watch Darrell Wallace Jr. this year, just watch all the young guns, that's the only room for this year is the young guns, Dale Jr. retired, Danica Patrick gone, um, all the guys gone that I liked back in the day, Tony Stewart, Jeff Warren, um, who I actually met Tony Stewart and I'll talk about that later, but thank you to you guys. Congratulations to Austin Dillon, Chevy, sweeping the three races there. It's going to be a fun season. I'll see you guys in the next video.